Velasquez undefeated at 15-0-1. He hails from Mexico. Rosales from Nicaragua. They're about the same age, but Rosales has had more than double the professional fights as Joselitos. I think if you're Christopher Rosales, part of the game plan has to be to tread water in these early rounds and try to take advantage in the later ones. Velasquez has only been 10 rounds one time in his career. Christopher Rosales, very familiar with deep round territory. Nice body shot, left hook by Velasquez. It was set up by a, a, a well-timed jab. I mean, that, that's something that, that's a fallacy in boxing where a shorter man can't out-jab a taller man, especially a man with a long reach like Rosales. But Velasquez did just that with timing. Oh, big right hand by Velasquez. Big power, but the timing is the most impressive part by Joselito Velasquez right now. He's timing the distance and breaking the, the, the reach of the longer, taller Rosales. Sixteen pro fights for Velasquez, forty for Rosales. Yeah, but you can see how mature Velasquez is. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't waste no move, no energy. He only punches when he's in position. Very smart fighter. When you think about it, Velasquez in this situation is considered a prospect, but he's a year older than Rosales. And he could take a punch. He gets he got checked by a left hook right there by Rosales. Good opening round here for Joselito. Yeah, that calmed down, Joselito, right there. He got checked coming in by a left hook. Sergio mentioned it, over a foot advantage, 13 inches. That's incredible. Those are like Sebastian Fedora type of numbers. I mean, that was kind of like Callum Smith Canelo. I mean, that, it, it, it's right up there in reach. This crowd's already at a level eight, Sergio. What's it going to be like when Chuck Latino gets in the ring? Well, this fan knows what they're watching. I mean, great fight fans here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're being told it's a three-inch reach advantage. Sergio's math is apparently very off. So it's a three-inch reach advantage. Either way, <laughs> Rosales is bigger and taller and longer, but that doesn't seem to be bothering Velasquez at all. That eye, that eye on Velasquez is going to be an issue the later this fight goes, especially if he starts getting hit with those jabs. You can see him pawing at it right now. So if you're Rosales, you want to take advantage of this. And you saw that left hand from Rosales smoke him right on the right side of his face. He couldn't see that punch coming. Yeah, an experienced fighter like Rosales will see that closing eye. It'll be like having a bullseye on it. It'll be target practice for that eye. So Velasquez may have to show some urgency in this next couple of rounds. Sergio, is there anything his corner can do to help alleviate that sort of injury? It's not exactly like a swelling of a punch, though he does land a nice left hook again for Velasquez. Listen, as long as it is in shock. Oh, well, right hand connects for Rosales, and Velasquez almost took a knee. Rosales' best punch is a chopping right hand, and considering that he landed so cleanly right there, Velasquez took that, but his knees buckled. And that right hand was nothing to do with that right eye shutting. Well, Sergio, you say it all the time. It's the punch you don't see that can hurt you. And right now, Velasquez ain't seeing much. No, he's not. But it's not because of that right hand. That's just, I mean, the, the right eye. It's because of that right hand of Rosales. Big left again for Joselito. It's the right hand and that reach advantage that's causing trouble. It has been a very entertaining fight. It's our opener. Is this the kind of fight you expected, Chris? A little bit, when you have two guys that are known for being in these types of toe-to-toe -to -toe battles, you expect it. I think for Rosales, look, he knows this is probably his last chance to make a statement. He's fighting on the main car. He's fighting a prospect. He's the underdog coming in, so I expected him to come in in shape with the right mindset. That was a really good combination by Rosales. It was a 1-2-1, one, one, which is an awkward combination to throw as a tall fighter, but he was able to get away with it right now because Velasquez is waiting to time that right hand. I thought it was interesting in the corner. 
with a trainer for Velasquez, Eddie Reynoso, said, you're in great shape, you're in great shape, pick your head up. Almost like he had to convince him that he wasn't tired yet. Both these fighters, look at the, their right foot. They're both looking to counter a jab. They're looking to come over the top with a jab with the right hand. There's that oh, right hand. Big right, right on the jaw. Perfectly timed for Velasquez. Right on time, and both of them are looking for it. We've reached the halfway point of this fight. You're just joining us. It has been a good one. Christopher Rosales, he's in the white gloves. He's had 40 professional fights, a former world champion taking on Joselito Velasquez, a prospect who's unbeaten, facing his toughest test to date, and it is very close. And this is where I'd like to see Rosales start to assert some control. His last three fights, he's gone at least 10 rounds. He went the 12-round distance in a title loss to Charlie Edwards. This should be territory he's most comfortable in. Beautiful uppercut by Rosales, doubling up on the left hand on the inside. There's another uppercut that splits the guard. Man, those uppercuts are vicious on Rosales. Beautiful shots by the taller fighter. But don't get us wrong, Velasquez is having his moments as well. No, Velasquez is timing them well. Looking around on social media, seems like most of the boxing journalists have Rosales up by a round or even two. So let's see what Velasquez can get done here in the 10th and final frame. And so do I. I just think it's a nip and tuck, but I, I'd rather be Ro Rosales right now. I think he's up right now. Sergio, you mentioned this at the start of the fight. It's a net positive. You're a guy like Rosales for being active, fighting as many times as Whoa! Rosales connecting, and now Velasquez having to go backwards. And this is the guy just staying in the gym, staying active, and you can see that sharpness to his game tonight. Nothing but experience and activity. Add that with toughness. I mean, that's a perfect trifecta to do what he's doing. No, ladies and gentlemen, this is not our main event. It's the first fight of the night. And this is... This is going to be a learning experience for Velasquez if he can get past this, but for Rosales, it's just an incredible comeback. Still plenty of power in the hands of Velasquez. Can he land a game-changing punch? Four clean shots landed there by Velasquez. Rosales, I mean, excuse me, Rosales. Velasquez didn't even move his head. That is a sign of fatigue. He's getting hit too cleanly with these shots by Rosales now. You can see Velasquez breathing heavy. He is tired. Well, he's been in a war, Sergio. Yeah, but they've been con uh, uh, concerned about him being tired since the early rounds. So obviously, Eddie Reynoso saw something early. Certainly was a lot of pressure on the shoulders of both these fighters, but especially Velasquez. He's never fought in front of this many people in this environment with this much pressure. And Velasquez trying to clinch again. Instead of punching in a fight so close, you should be thinking about punching and not clinching. Rosales trying to fight him off. You gotta have some urgency in this situation for both guys. Matchroom boxing, very invested in 112, 115 pound divisions. A win for either one of them could lead to a lucrative payday in their next fight. No, 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 suéltalo. Suéltalo. And there you have Velasquez Stop. clenching on again and the referee giving him a warning. 20 seconds left. The 12th has belonged to Rosales. I think the fight has belonged to Rosales. I mean, just what a performance by the former title challenger, title holder. Incredible battle here in Glendale. After 10 rounds of action here in Glendale, Arizona, we go to the judges' score totals. Dennis O'Connell, Tim Cheatham, and Chris Wilson all scored this bout identically. 97 to 93 for your winner by unanimous decision. De Managua, Nicaragua, Christopher.